All right, so Flynn has a question. My question is, uh, I hike and I'm wearing a backpack with hiking sticks and I've fallen three times doing that. And I want to make sure I know how to fall with a backpack on. All right. All right, so answer to Flynn's question. And I've actually known Flynn a long time because we both do work for the American Red Cross. And so it's good that he's a regular hiker because you never know when you might have to help somebody. Okay. So here's the concept. When we're wearing a pack, we now are basically the hunchback of Notre Dame, all right? <laughs> Which is gonna affect three different things. One, it's gonna affect your center of gravity for your balance. Which means that your gait is gonna be slightly forward of neutral to compensate. Second, is that when you actually fall, your momentum is shifted because part of the weight is away from you. Especially since in this case, he has loaded his pack with water and everything just as if he was hiking. So it has weight on it. And third is that when you hit the ground, you're gonna not be in the same form that you would be without a pack. The key issue is going to be the same though and that you're gonna to have to make that transition. So if I'm gonna to go toward you, the first thing I'm gonna do is reduce momentum. Meaning I know I'm wearing weight, so I don't wanna just fall, because now the force of that weight will swing wider. I want to get as low as I can, and I'm okay doing what I call the stumble to the crumble. Meaning I'm gonna take multiple steps to get low. So I feel myself start to fall, I'm gonna get lower and lower and lower. And then when I actually do fall, I wanna slide on the side. Meaning, I want the edge of the pack to be what goes first. And then, when I'm gonna go over, I can feel this momentum and shift it back to my butt using my leg to be on the bottom of the pack. That's what you'd wanna do you want to do that if you had something really valuable in the bag, right? Some, some even have baby carriers in their bag. I wouldn't want to take a chance of crushing the child or injuring what's in the bag. So I throw my leg to get to my butt to get to the other side. I'm here. I started my fall, but I don't finish it here. I throw my leg over so that I'm only on the bottom of the bag. That's one choice. The other choice is to go high over the shoulders where you are going to push the top of the bag but not touch your head. So what that is, is I feel myself start to fall, I go high, and I still end up on a side fall. It'll be a little bit more of a slam though. So the key exercise to get good at this for Flynn is what we call the Australian break dancer. Just kidding, we don't call it that. <laughs> I call it the helicopter, but I, I learned this concept in Capoeira, which is a Brazilian martial art, of and that's using the legs to shift the angle of momentum. And we're doing that so that we can get to the base of the bag. So I'm falling, I'm gonna go slide to the side, helicopter to get to the side. So that you're using your legs and your butt to shift the angle of force lower. That's what I would do first. So without the bag, that looks like this. Just do it Hawaiian style, not Australian style. <laughs> if that's too difficult, the other possibility is to go high over the top of the bag, but you just gotta watch your head because you don't want it to capitulate to where it would hit your head, okay? I gotta trust that I won't go too far. So depending on your coordination, you wanna practice this. Those are two choices. What you don't wanna do is end up like a stranded turtle, okay? Where I'm straight on the bag and I'm like, dead cockroach, right? Sorry, Flynn. We don't want that. So shift toward your butt or the top angle, apex of the bag, but either way, train to fall safely. Okay, now you're gonna give it a try. You're gonna pretend like you have a backpack on, and you're gonna stumble as many times as you have to 
to slow down your momentum and fall safely. Ready? Take a little step. Start to stumble. Catch yourself and fall. Don't forget to slide. Good. Check yourself. You know if you ask a question, you're going to have to do it, right? <laughs> Ready? Go. Slide, slide, slide. Very good. Very good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Take as many steps as you have to to be low and slow. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Ready? Take a step. Feel like you're going to stumble? Take as many steps as you have to to start your recovery. Very good, Flynn. Yeah.